Hi everyone, Cockney Fan Channel here, the internet's busiest anime nerd. So as you might know, I lost this week's forfeit challenge. If you didn't know that, I've just spoiled the most recent video for you, but go check out, it's good content anyway. It's now 2-1 in the series. Robert has destroyed me two, go well, two challenges in a row now. I'm starting to see a trend here. He might take a resounding lead and I might end up having to take on that body pillow. But hopefully I'll redeem myself next week. But for now, I've got to do another forfeit. First things first, though, last week, I did choose a forfeit. The reason why there wasn't a video was because I chose to do the 12-hour stream last week. I thought that'd be one of the easiest challenges on the board because I do stream a lot, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Oh, that 12-hour that stream nearly killed me. I've got to do a 24-hour stream soon, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Check that one out soon. So, so far, so far, me and Rob are doing well. We've given ourselves a lot of pain in this series. I go, I'm real good with that roulette. Um, I, that video looked fake. That video, that, did, that video did indeed look fake, but it wasn't. That was actually real. I, I, I am the luckiest guy in the world. So for today, I feel like I need to give one to Robert. I need to hurt myself a little bit more. So I have chosen to review a One Piece filler anime arc. And Robert has kindly chosen for me today, episodes 220 to 224, the Ocean Dreams arc. So if you didn't know, this arc is actually based on a PlayStation video game all the way back into the 90s. Actually, it might have been the early 2000s. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. In the title as well, it's called like One Piece Ocean Dreams. I didn't check any of the gameplay of it, but let's be real. Most One Piece games, they absolutely suck. Even One Piece Trailer Crew is now I care for all two fans out there. Anyway, I'm going to go through each episode step by step. I'm going to tell you what happens, give you the breakdown, and we're going to give you an overall review at the end. But first things first, this arc actually comes off an Oscar winning arc, if you didn't actually know, ladies and gentlemen. To be honest, I thought this arc was filler. I'm, I'm going to be real with you, I thought this arc beforehand was filler. Only a little while ago, I actually remembered that, no, this was actually canon. If you can't remember, ladies and gentlemen, this, this arc continues onwards from the Long Long Island Ring arc. I think that's the actual name. It's the Foxy Pirates, every, everybody's favourite pirate, Foxy. I, I thought he was canon. And I'll, I'll say this right now, Robert initially told me to do episode 220 to 226 because there is indeed two more filler episodes after this. But the worst, like, I, I will let Foxy be canon, but... Oh my god, I am never ever going to watch filler episodes with Foxy, okay? So let's just get into this. It's time for an Ocean Dreams review. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for story time with Mr. Teacup. So get yourself a nice little warm glass of milk. I'm going to give you the audible. Is it the audible? I'm going to give you the audible of the One Piece filler arc, Ocean Dreams. And I'm leaving that in the video. So we start off with episode 220, right? Pitch of this. It's a nighttime scene. Whoa, Miss Teacups. She started writing some books. It's a nighttime scene. Always well on the ship. Zoro's on lookout. All the rest of the crew asleep. Oh no, Zoro's falling asleep right now. But we see a Nico Robin. She's up late into the night reading her books. Wow. Suddenly out of nowhere, this mysterious young lad with this flute. Oh, we don't know what it is. It might be a flute. It might be a. It's not a thong. It might be a. Fl <laughs> it might be a flute. It might be a Vuvu Sailor. You know, remember that World Cup that everybody hated because the, they wouldn't stop playing that fucking flute? I'm, I'm not going to have a Vuvu Sailor, right? Okay. It makes this weird noise. The crew, wow. Their faces start scrunching up like this. Oh. They wake up the next day. Shock. Everybody seems to have lost their memories. Ocean Dreams arc is about memories, ladies and gentlemen. I've just spoiled the whole fucking arc in one go. Memories are gone. What is going on? Suddenly... There's only one character with memories. It's Nico Robin. I wonder why she is the only one with memories. So there's so banter in shorts. All the crew starts having you know their banter from the beginning days because their memories only go back to when they set off on their adventure. So Luffy when he left the original village, Usopp's still back on his crammy little island. Usopp's still a pirate. Not Usopp's still a pirate hunter. Zoro is still a pirate hunter. Whoa, Nami is still a bitch. Well, no, <laughs> she is still a bitch, but she's even more of a bitch, right? So she goes off and steals all the money. All the loot from the ship goes off in that little, I don't know, that little motorbike on like, you know, that thing, that motorbike thing that rides on the water and she rides off into the distance. That's the whole episode, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going straight on to episode 221. Picture this. We're actually carrying on straight away. No fillers, no recap. Well, this is actually technically a filler. But you know, you know what I'm saying, no flashbacks. We're going straight into the action. Nami's heading towards this island. At first, everything looks good. She sees this village off in the distance. She's like, wow. I see a village. So we're going through her motives right now, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to do a little English essay here. I'm so fucking screwed that. She gets closer to this village. And she notices it looks a little bit abandoned. It kind of looks a little bit like Hackney. It looks like a dump. Where is everybody? It's desolate. It's isolated. And suddenly, the pelican from One Piece Treasure Cruise 
flies along with a newspaper and drops said newspaper. He is giving them the news. When I saw that connection between the anime and the game, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't believe it. I had to stop myself from making a theory video because I think Joy Boy might have actually beaten me to it. So, it's heavily implied that these people have also lost their memories. What is going on? What is actually happening? Could that kid and the trumpet be also linked to this? Well, yeah, they're, they're pretty much going to spoil it because then you see a, a, like quite a long shot of this kid staring at Nami like, hmm, hmm, kind of looking like every single SoundCloud rapper out there. Then, that, that's that whole scene over. We go back to the boat. Bear in mind, this is like 15 minutes, right? I just explained like 15 minutes worth of content. The kid starts attacking Nami. Out of nowhere, he sits on his perch on... What, 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 what are they riding at this point? Like the Going Merry, something like that? You know, he sits on like the actual Merry head. He's sitting there, and the kid's sitting there like, oh, move. He's like, oh, I'm going to take... That's my chair. And he goes over there, knocks a little trumpet. Trumpet nuts everywhere. Luffy gets his memory back. End scene. That was a 20 minute episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our next one. I'm gonna say this right now. I thought I had some original content. I thought I had some banner going. So I was going to do a Luffy says, you know, when Luffy says he's Pirate King, you know, ha ha ha, I'm gonna be Pirate King. I was gonna have a little bit of a counter in the side or something like that. This filler art kind of disappointed me a little bit because in the whole five episodes, he only says it once and he teases it twice. He teases the tip. But he said he's only going to be Pirate King once, so that, that's my original content out of the way. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going straight on to episode 222. I'm going to spoil the first five minutes of this episode. Nothing actually happens, alright? Nothing, nothing happens, oh my god. Then nothing else happens, so we get recaps of all the crew members, because at this point they've also lost their memories, they're thinking back to what just happened. So Sanji's thinking about, you know, when him and Zephyr on that rock stranded, Usopp's thinking about the little boys. No. <laughs> Usopp's thinking about the Usopp pirates and Kyra and stuff like that. And Chubb is thinking about Dr. Hillelook when he's butt naked. That goes on for about another five minutes. Finally, we go on to the next day. Nico Robin hasn't slept yet. She's a fucking trooper. She's been alive for probably like 24 to 36 hours. Hey, I did a 12 hour stream, wanted to kill myself. I don't know what situation she's in right now. I'm going to whip out my script right now because I'm an actual terrible actor when it comes to reading my eyes. So, they go back to the island. They finally get an army back, but she is still a fucking bitch. I kind of wish they abandoned her here. I'm not going to lie, I kind of wish they abandoned her. She's still a little bit sceptical of the whole situation. But then, also as well, I forgot to tell you this, the episode beforehand, Zoro leaves as well, but no, really, well, nobody cares because Zoro's obviously going to get lost or something. Some hygiene is going to happen, and it does happen. So Zoro's off in the forest by himself, you know, you're foraging, surviving. The kid comes along, plays his little trumpet flute, and he turns Zoro against Luffy. Wow. Insane. Right, ladies and gentlemen, time for episode 223. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit of spicy. So, at the end of the last episode, Robin was reading this rock that talked about some sort of sea god, okay? Ooh, what is this sea god? It might be a little bit mysterious, okay? So, we're treated with a nice panning shot of the crew going through a forest for about five minutes searching for said sea god. Then, out of nowhere, Rono Zoro comes along. The crew's like, hey, Zoro, well, you finally came back. But bear in mind, we as the audience know that he's under some sort of spell, okay? So he ends up attacking Monkey D. Luffy of all people. So they're treated with a clash of the titans battle between Luffy and Zoro. And I'm going to spoil this right now. Zoro actually does some damage to Luffy. He does an X on his chest. Fucking crazy foreshadowing, alright? Hey, I had to stop myself from making a theory video because if they foreshadow this stuff right here, what else do they foreshadow? Well, maybe, maybe One Piece is actually inside Luffy. X marks the spot. Fuck, I see you, Joy Boy. While Zoro and Luffy are fighting, the rest of the crew are moseying on trying to find the Z God. Not Z God or Z God, this ain't Dragon Ball Z, this Z God. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even know how I'm pronouncing it right. So they're moseying on. But Nami, she's been a bitch. She's trying to just do anything she can to get out of this situation. Because obviously she doesn't really know what's going on. But her being a bitch makes Usopp even more of a bitch. So they're having a bitch fest. But Nico Robin, my girl, she steps in. She puts everything straight. She does a nice, really good inspirational speech. She gets all the troops moving again. So they go further on into the forest. And out of nowhere, that kid comes. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Obviously he's trying to get them under more control like they are with like Zoro. Trying to like, I don't know, do their bidding. Sanji just kicks his ass, he knocks a little like seahorse thing out of his hand, everybody gets their memories back, whoa, already, well only three episodes in, okay, kind of defeats purpose, okay, but then at the end of the episode, we're treated with a nice little bamboozle, Zoro comes out of the forest, but there's no Luffy, did he get his memories back, maybe not, we'll find out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final episode, episode 224, 
This has actually gone by quite quick. I feel like One Piece filler actually isn't too bad when I'm reviewing it and talking about it, but watching it? Oh, that's a whole different kettle of fish. So, we continue on from our last episode, because ha ha ha, where else are we going to continue on from? So, we're treated from a sea. Well, last episode, the episode before I forgot to mention this, the kid was obviously under the spell from this sea god, this little, like, little horsey thing. So he's running back to the village. He's reunited with his mother, because all the other villagers suddenly have their memories back as well. So the question arises, should Zoro have his memories back? Why has everybody else got their memories back apart from Zoro? Spoiler alert, he's bamboozling. Wow, the cunning swordsman himself. He bamboozles the seahorse. He gets one up on him. They win the battle. The seahorse runs into the ocean. Thought the episode was going to end there, but the seahorse, for some reason, just stayed in the water. He went invisible because obviously he's got some like camouflage jutsu. Even Zoro's like, why the, what, 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 why, why the fuck is he over there? What's that boy doing? He could have done anything. Could have gone out to sea. Anything? No, he just decided to stay there. So Seahorse finally, well, he decides to use his ultimate technique, his ultimate ninjutsu, you know, Shadow Clone Jutsu of 100% win ratio. He steals everybody's memories again. <laughs> he literally steals everybody's memories again. So we're back in that situation where everyone's like, who the fuck are you? All right. Then he goes into his ultimate life form, his ultimate final form. Basically just kind of looks like Gear 3 Luffy. He just puffs up into this millennial dragon. So wait, are dragons confirmed in One Piece now in this world? And anything's confirmed in one piece, yeah, anything. you got Stretch Armstrong over here, okay? So, the way they win the day, they save the day. Luffy's like, I'm, I'm going to ride him. I'm, I, I want a piece of that ass over there. He uses his Stretch Armstrong arms, flies all the way up there, gives him a big old hug, and he just squeezes all the memories out of him. He just squeezes the whole life out of this boy. It's nuts everywhere. It's quite a nice sound No, it's not a nice sound effect. I like the voice, like the way the uh, seahorse talks. It's quite cute. It's quite a little bit funny. Everybody gets their memories back again. Woohoo for the final time. And that's it. That, 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 that's actually the whole arc, all right? So they go back to the village, you're like, okay, the village is going to be really, really happy, you know, they're going to treat us as like gods, we saved the village in that. But oh no, no, there's a little bit of a ruse. They think they're the people that actually stole their memories, so they're up for a fight. They were treated from a nice scene where, well, Nami just runs over about 400 different innocent civilians, so she committed mass genocide. Then we get a nice little sunset scene where they're back on the sunny, well, it's not even the sunny, it's going merry, back on the guy merry, and they sail off into the sunset. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a One Piece filler arc, Dreams Island? Dreams arc? I uh, fucking don't remember. It's the Dream one, okay? It was so boring. Like, I don't even want to play that video game. I, I can't get behind any filler, really, most of the time. Like, some fillers can be good, but this one had a nice little premise, but it, it could have been done in two episodes. It honestly probably should have been done in two episodes. I'm going to give this one a... I'm not good. All right, that cringe fest is over. How did you enjoy that, ladies and gentlemen? I've been Mr. Teacup, so I don't really want any more of these forfeits. So, Robert, please stop winning and allow me to win some. No, no I'm going to go close right now. Robert cheats, all right? He's fucking cheating. I'm going to have to get on his computer or something. He's got something to make, like, hits perfect for him or something like that. Because Robert, I know, he's bad at anime gadget games. So, yeah, hopefully next week it'll be Robert here instead of me. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed. Hope you've rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye. Fuck his filler. I didn't think he was actually canon. He is actually indeed canon. So once we go on from that majestic arc, you know, that Oscar winning arc, we are treated with this arc. Mm, which is about dreams. <clears throat> right, ladies and gentlemen, we're now in episode 223. We're about halfway through right now. Thank the Lord. No, this is really good, alright? This is where everything gets spicy. So at the end of the last episode, they were talking about a sea god. Ooh, a sea god, very mysterious. The crew. They're going through the forest. We get some nice panning shots to pad out the episode. Usopp, Chopper, they do whatever they do. They're like, oh no, this is so scary. Uh -huh. I bear in mind at this point in time, they're the memory. That shit, that's not funny, Terry. Ha 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 ha. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for episode 221. Picture this. We're continuing on from the last episode. Wow, really? Man, I should have wrote a better script. <laughs> I'm going to keep working with this. All right, it's episode 221. Picture this. Nami is running off the loop. She's heading towards this island. Whoa, there's a town on this island. Fuck, really? Oh, it looks really good at first, but suddenly as she gets closer, things just seem to be a little bit over the place. Kind of looks like Hackney. It looks abandoned. Suddenly, the pelican from One Piece Treasure Cruise flies out of nowhere. I see where he got the inspiration from. And to be honest, it changed my life seeing this. You... <laughs> That's kind of the outtakes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for episode 221. Picture this. 
We are continuing onwards from our last episode. I know, right? No, no backstory, no like filler. We are on a filler. What am I trying to say? What, what, is, what am I trying to say? Oh, what, what's the thing they use? Oh, you forgot your memory. Just like Keith and James. <laughs> well, fucking chum out the window. <laughs> Nerd. It's forfeit time. If you watched our most recent bingo video, I, Mr. Teacup, sadly lost another challenge. That's two in a row now. 2 1 in the series overall. Robert is getting me. Robert is getting me. I don't, I don't want to be doing these challenges. Well, these forfeits, and I seem to be doing them. Two in a row now. Last week, I chose to do a 12 hour stream. I thought that would be the easiest challenge to do out of the whole bunch after Robert did the bingo. Oh, no, he did the, he did the fucking bingo. The bingo, the fucking series. 